everybody what's going on Eric here hope everyone's doing well so this is something I've been tossing around this is a company called Starbender guitars and they're supposed to be pretty decent quality or good quality guitars as far as what I researched on them it seems like uh, they are 100% positive feedback on eBay and from what I've seen online about this company and other people who have purchased the products other than fine-tuning and a little bit of uh, maybe some fret leveling they're not bad so I decided to take the plunge and pick up one of these. Now I'm going to have it custom made. And uh, so this is going to be a little of what I'm supposedly going to get. So stay tuned. I'm going to show some photos. So of course, it's a Les Paul body. Now this is supposed to be a gray quilted top. And it's supposed to be a true quilted top. It's not supposed to be a veneer that's on these things. Um, all inlay work that is done on the top of the body mahogany body mahogany neck gold hardware supposed to come with uh, Grover tuners and that's going to be questionable when I take a look at the Grover tuners now as far as everything else goes on here I've already decided that well everything is going to be replaced besides the body so uh, these are the parts that I'm going to be putting on this thing First off, we have a set of True Grover tuners, unlike the ones that may come on the headstock of the new guitar, which are probably fake, you know, Grovers. But these are Grover locking. Uh, I kind of like the locking idea. Been using them on a lot of guitars, haven't had any problems. And with the headstock of the new guitar, you know, already fitted for fake Grovers, the real Grovers should just drop right in. Next, I have a Wilkinson's Roller Bridge, uh, True Wilkinson's, and uh, never had any problems with plating, fading, chipping off, or anything with these guys. Uh, they've been working pretty nice. Uh, lots of room for adjustment. Unlike a Tunomatic Bridge, uh, these are pretty comfortable when you're doing palm, palm muting and, and resting your hand on top of the bridge while playing. Next, I have a set of Seymour Duncan, and these are the Distortion Mayhems. Now, the bridge pickup is going to be what they call F spacing which is a little bit wider between the pole pieces than it is on the neck pickup uh, so I'm hoping that this lines up pretty good without any problems and you know sight unseen as far as the guitar goes uh, I'm gonna have uh, CTS push and pull switches on their uh, pots and CTS tone um, I'm going to do a thing where these are going to be out of phase from each other and then I'm going to end up uh, possibly kind of mix matching the capacitors for the tones on this thing uh, kind of see what type of sound or what type of a roll off I can get for a different tone with using different type of uh, capacitors to achieve that now I know for distortion there's a roundabout number that is preferred uh, so that would probably be on the bridge pickup and of course we'll the see. nut itself you know I'll be ended up replacing that and putting one of my custom-made bone nuts I guess it's custom-made since I'll be making it myself so that'll be replaced as well so a lot of these they don't show the headstock because nine times out of ten there's going to be some type of a logo on there that you really don't want to see kind of what makes them to be a gypsum but anyways I contacted the seller and I'm going to have my channel name put on top of the headstock instead of you know just having whatever I'm going to ship. Uh, it worked out pretty good hopefully there's no confusion and I get what I'm looking for. Anyways it's about the overall price just for the guitar itself. Uh, it's about the same thing as what you would pay for a mid to higher end Epiphone. And from what I've seen as far as quality goes, that's kind of what you're getting is kind of a mid to higher end Epiphone as far as body wise goes. And, you know, replacing all of the hardware and electronics and everything else, that's just extra that uh, I'm going to dump into this thing just to make it better than what it is. A lot of times with the Chipsons that I've got, I've had no bad luck with the Chipson itself as far as the body goes. And replacing everything else is just a bonus added to that, uh, added to that guitar. You know, make it better than what it was when it was stocked from China. 
So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. You guys take it easy. Have a good one. And I will catch up with you all later.